Hey, big guy. Something troubling you? When you're around, always. Try not to think so hard. It doesn't agree with you. How about you? You doing all right? I don't think any of us are. Times like these, all you can do is put on a brave face. Hey, what about that inquisitor lady, Michelle or Marcy or whoever? Marshall, come on, you can at least learn her name. This must be hard for her, too. She went from a respected official to a fugitive in the span of a heartbeat. That's gotta be rough. You think we can trust her? Who knows? This place got too many characters. How are a couple of country bumpkins supposed to keep it all straight? At the moment, I'm less worried about Marshall and more concerned about this General Isoro guy. Why, we got beef with him? Not that I know of. Just not excited for one more problem to keep an eye on. Well, good thing you've got six. I expect we'll frantically figure things out along the way, same as we always do. Sounds about right. Guess we'll worry when we get there. I know this isn't the first time we've left Lynetta, but this time seems different. I just got this feeling like we're never going back. Sheesh, what's gotten into you? You're making me depressed. Chin up, brother. Just think of it as our greatest adventure yet. There's... there's a monster! A monster ahead! Hellhounds! They must have been tracking our scent! Damn it! We should have been prepared for this. We're losing our touch. Speak for yourself. I laid down some traps near the stream. It won't stop them, but it should slow them down. Ha! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I'd keep you around. All right, gang. You know the drill. Let's go hunting! We need to target their vulnerable points with the right kind of weapon if we want to take them down. <laughs> Luck is on my side. You got it, Cap. You can do this. You can do this. Not everyone can be forgiven. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Sure thing, Cap. Acknowledged. People who run their mouths die first. Six 
success! We trapped it! Nice work! This is a good time to attack the monsters on the west! Understood. Remember what I said. Focus on the vulnerable points. Don't forget to swap your weapon if you have to. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Should have been more careful. Fine. Go ahead, open your mouth. I'll put an ear. Think deeply. Act right. No problem! Tomorrow's a new day! Like somebody rang the dinner bell. Don't panic. We can do this. Just stay calm and take them out one at a time. It's up to me. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rock. All right. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. I'll see it through. Blood runs hot. Keep your head cool. Coming right up! Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. Trap broke. They're headed this way. Keep calm and stay focused. We've got this. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. No sweat. You got it!
Here goes! If you say so. Faith will never betray me. Light burns the brightest in the dark. But it's Luck is on my side. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. As you command. starts racing slow down and take a moment a solid plan understood Shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> I will bring justice to this land. clear right a solid plan people who run their mouths die first tomorrow's a new day I can handle that here goes Lady Marshall. 
Francisco the Bold has arrived! I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt! <laughs> Should have been more careful. <laughs> Understood. Sight, but not out of mind. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. All right. Here we go. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? You got it, Cap. Right! I'll see it through. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Acknowledged. Whew, that was a close call. Let's take stock. Hopefully they didn't damage things too much. Yeah? Hi there. Ah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah? Hi there. Yeah. Hi there. Hi there. <sighs> My mistake. Right. No. Oh. Hey, yeah. How's it going? What's the extent of the damage on <laughs> our end? Not bad. Lucky for you, I was here. Yeah, all right. Finish up and get some sleep, Francisco. You can brag all you like tomorrow morning. Seriously, though, it's a good thing everyone was awake. We might not get so lucky next time, Cap. We ought to think about preparing better. All right, I hear you. I'm going to go check in with Leon. Ask him about what I said. Oh, and ask if he saw my moves out there. Sure thing. How's it going? Hey.
Not a chance. Hey, Leon. What do you know about how monsters think? All I know is how to kill them. To be honest, I've never given it more thought than that. Maybe Robert would know more about it? Good thinking. I'll go talk to him. Hey! Francisco thinks we got lucky this time. What do you think? Cisco said that? I mean, he's not wrong, but that's surprising coming from him. Well, he did spend a few minutes bragging first. Ah, sounds about right. In any case, we'll need to find a solution. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Double the number of guards and have the remaining soldiers set up traps and barricades. All night long? We can't ask regular folk to do it. Right. I'll get on it straight away. I'm counting on you. Hey. Yeah, thanks. You place too much faith in the mercenary. The man all but panicked at the aggressions of a few monsters. I will judge my own company. Of course. Now instead of passing judgment in the absence of information, why don't we focus on obtaining more? Yes, my lady. I am still gathering intelligence on both the Empire and Isoro's rebels. I shall report back soon. I'm counting on you, Lenard. I will not fail you. Yes? What's the situation across Artemisia? How am I even supposed to answer that? Slowly and from the beginning? Since the unification, many have been dissatisfied with the Emperor's rule, but until now, few have taken a stand. Recently, the Emperor has vanished from public view. Wait, really? I thought that was just a rumor. Who can say? In any case, Prime Minister Morin's reign of terror began soon after, and Collins Crows took up arms in protest. Others shared their sentiments and followed suit. That's right. I've heard there are a lot of rebel factions now. Hmm. And each with their own agendas. The Crows are popular with the public. Their recruiting efforts have taken the capital by surprise. So if you were a betting woman, where's the smart money? Given our situation, it would certainly be to our advantage if Colin's forces were to triumph. But it won't be easy for them. No surprises there. Anything else you're curious about? Now that I think about it, Lenard came to Lynetta a while before you did, right? Indeed. That was a favorite tactic of mine as an Inquisitor. Send an agent ahead quietly, get the lay of things, then observe which insects scurry fastest upon your arrival. I can't decide if that's clever or terrifying. I prefer careful. 
What kind of person is Isoro? He's the leader of a new rebel faction slowly expanding its power within Benario. I don't really know much myself, but the rumors say he's a kind and just man. Let's hope so. We could use some good luck. That's all for now. Thanks. What is it? Lenard, wasn't it? What do you want? I like to know the people I'm working with. How did you come to serve Marshall? Some time ago, I was framed for a crime and facing death. It was at that moment when Marshall's younger brother came to my aid. It was his wish that I serve and protect Lady Marshall. I see. So, where is Marshall's brother now? You go too far, mercenary. All right, then. Keep your secrets. Yeah? Say, Robert, do you happen to know anything about Hellhounds? Hellhounds? Yeah. If we knew more about how they think, it might be easier to run them off in the future. Hmm, let me think. There was a book about monsters I brought with me from Lanetta. It's been a while since I read it, but you're welcome to take a look for yourself. Now, if I could just remember where I put it. Should be around here somewhere. I'll help you look. Fine by me. Yeah? Seems like we avoided any major damage. Good thing we prepared. We scraped by. But we can't fight like mercenaries forever. Mopping up monsters and facing down trained knights are two completely different things. Fair enough. If we want Isoro to take us in, we'll need to shape up and become proper soldiers. Can't wing a revolution after all. Before we get to Castilian, it might be a good idea to assign everyone some more specific roles. If you find what suits each soldier and assign them that specific job, we'll have fewer messy surprises in battle. Once everyone gets the hang of things, we can expand and assign people specialized roles. That sounds good. Why don't you get everyone together later? Might as well let people know before they get too drunk on victory. Besides, a speech might be good for morale. <laughs> Got it. I'll start making preparations. Great. Thanks. Everyone fought well. Those things took us by surprise, but we won without taking many losses. That's thanks to your efforts. Each of you responded quickly and calmly in the heat of battle. Together, I have no doubt we can face whatever lies ahead. However, before we get to Castilian, I have a few announcements to make. No matter how skilled we are, there's a difference between mercenaries and soldiers. If we join the ranks of Isoro's army, we will be mercenaries no longer. That'll mean changes. We'll need to lose some bad habits and get used to doing things in new ways. 
Our first task is figuring out what each of our specialties are, and what role suits each of us best. We need to determine who's best with each weapon, who belongs in the vanguard, and who brings up the rear. Without further ado, let's start dividing up the roles. That's a good place to stop for today. Enjoy your rest, everyone. You've earned it. I forgot to show you this. I tried to tell you when I saw it because I thought it was funny. I'm going to tell you. Just a little picture thing. Trick or yeet, I shout to the children when I open the door. Yeet, one says confusingly, and I shrug. Yeet it is, and I throw the child. <laughs> it's so funny. I told it to Toby, and he went, huh? I was like, it's a joke, Toby. He's like, why are they throwing children? <laughs> the joke, Toby. <laughs> There was something I wanted in here actually. Oh shit, what is it? I was gonna be like, I'm just gonna get that thing from the other one. Oh, it's probably crazy. Yeah. Well, I like you. Look, you. Welcome back! Yes. What? <laughs> Mwah! There's something I need in here for Luca to get it. Oh, I don't know, it's going to be... I'll tell you where this is. So, tell me again. Well, 20 people. Pretty sure. It is actually a queen. Yeah, but nobody wants to know who's going to use it. Yeah, I know. Apart from people that made it. Yeah. Maybe they don't like to use it. They don't like to use it. They don't like to use it. Welcome back. Many thanks.